Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. How's filming on Strangers going? So far, so good. We're coming to an end here. I'm, I'm, we just hit a bit of a hiatus in our Atlanta filming, and I'm headed to Miami at the end of this week to wrap entirely, and it's been going great. Wow. Oh. I know Jennifer Kate and Robinson and that stacked cast that you've got with you, they're gonna cook up something great. I loved someone oh. great. Oh yeah. Yeah, someone great. Yeah. Yeah, no, <laughs> Jen's amazing. She she's absolutely killing it with this one. I'm I'm so excited for everybody to see this. The the cast too. We're all we're all having so much fun. Amazing. So I've seen all of Outer Banks season two. I binge watched it all. I loved it all. So good. But for those who haven't seen it, uh, give them a little taste of what's coming up. Yeah. So um, guys, it's it's finally time. Outer Banks season two is it's right around the corner and um, it's just going to be so much bigger, so much more explosive, so much more fun. You're going to get everything you, you want. You, you get more of the pokes together. You get more, you know, danger, um, adventure, treasure, all of it. It's, it's, it's here in season two and we're so excited for everybody to see it. Awesome. So the end of last season, we kind of got to see Pope confront his demons a little bit. He punched his dad, he confessed his feelings for Key. Uh, he talked to a rubber ducky, he sang a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he got high for the first time. So what have been some of your favorite Pope moments last season and then this season? I think uh, talking to that rubber ducky is definitely uh, <laughs> one of my favorites. <laughs> I took that rubber ducky home, still have him. So um, yeah, he, he's a, he's my fire duck. So <laughs> um, cool, cool. Yeah. I, and did you get to take anything home for season two? I did. Um, we get to see Pope's room this year, and uh, I had a little bit of input on like some of the decorations that are in there. And uh, they let me take some of my favorite ones home at the end of this season. Oh, I love it. And so I know you're super close with your Pogues. What have been some of your favorite moments off screen? I know you guys used to play Mario Kart at the end of every day. <laughs> so, what's yeah, happened in this season? Just like, it was so, I mean, just kind of the same like Pogue antics. Like, I can't really like, like, like we have, we definitely have all those videos saved up of like, just like the wildness that like, just when we're together and it gets, we, it gets boring and we're filming together, we just kind of get crazy with each other. Um, definitely from this year, I got to say like, just like, I guess just that the, the best moments to me were just when we would hang out because that's when like, we would always laugh the hardest, you know, we couldn't really go out a lot this filming year just because of COVID. So when we like could get together and like, talk and like just make each other laugh like we used to it really felt like old times again uh, and so things are kind of complicated this season with uh, key and pope um it's kind of tough navigating how they both feel how their friendship is going to be how you know how the dynamics and the groups are changing so what was it like um navigating that with madison um, me and me and Maddie almost became like close. We not almost. We did become closer this year. We we really really um because you know it's me, her, and Rudy all together. So um for for a majority of the better half of the first part of the season. So yeah, you know we're um we just kind of like got to know each other even more than we did last year, and it was just kind of crazy because we already knew each other so well, and we really like came like we, we we found a better place in our in our even our friendship and a better place in um key and pope's relationship you know we we, we experimented mm -hmm. with some stuff and tried some some things and and really you know it was a collaborative process with the writers and directors you know just in terms of the key and pope stuff and you know making it feel as real and believable as possible and still you know stick true to like how they felt at the end of last year yeah, and I loved your interplay with Rudy on screen. You guys are great together. So is all of that scripted or some of that improvised? Some of that is definitely like... improvised into the begrudgingness of our editors. It is it is improvised and they have to like, all right, they didn't say the same thing in these two takes. So we gotta like sit together and, and kudos to them for getting our randomness into something that is like funny and consistent. But yeah, we, we we, we, we have a lot of definitely like scripted funny moments too, but there are, we like to go off the cuff a lot. Have there been moments where you guys just broke, where you're just like, I Oh can't. yeah. Yeah, just wait till that season two blooper reel comes out. 
I love it. <laughs> so there's a huge <laughs> fan base for this show. You had fans lining up watching you guys work for season two. I know you got a lot of fans asking for Maddie and um, Madeline's phone numbers, <laughs> right? So what's the fan yeah. support mean to you? And what's that been like? I mean, it's it's been the best, you know, like without without the fans and the people who watch it, there is no other bands, you know? Um, so we were just like, we're just happy that everybody who likes it, likes it for whatever reason they like it. You know, like some people like the ship, some people like the treasure, some people like the friendship, whatever reason you like it is the reason you like it. And, and, and that's why we love it. So yeah, the fan support, it just really helped. It really helps affirm that we're moving in the right direction and that we're doing something that a lot of people like really resonate with and enjoy. I love it. So this season, we learn a little bit about Pope's history. We learn a bit more about his family. We get to see different sides of Pope. We get to see him uh, stung by some wasps, <laughs> which is amazing. You get to really show your range as an actor. So what are your hopes for Pope moving forward? Yeah, I just want to I just want to keep building on his character. You know, he's he's pretty different this season than he is season one. And I hope he can be another there's another layer season three i hope to keep adding and and showing off you know i the range of you know a character like pope you know you can take him to so many different places just because of where he started and he's got a lot he's young and he's he's rambunctious and he's still kind of like hot-headed you know he's the smart one but he's definitely like he's got that rambunctiousness of to just like go head first into situations even though he doesn't always know how it's going to end up i think smart's very relative i just want to i would say he's more of a logical thinker you know but yeah, mm -hmm. I just throw it within. And have you heard anything about season three? Is it happening? I don't know. I guess it depends on how season two does. We don't. <laughs> we don't get to know these things. We're, we just. We just get to be excited when everybody else is excited. And have you seen season two? Tell me about some of your favorite moments. So I have seen season two. Right now. I think in just terms of favorite moments, all of episode ten, just every. From beginning to end, I love that. I love filming it. I love watching it. It was exciting. Um, yeah, and I think it's a good. Uh, I think it's a good finale to the series. So, or not to the not to the series to the season. season. <laughs> I mean, let, me, let me rephrase that. I think episode ten is a good finale to the season. Yeah, a lot of twists coming. Gotta say, without spoiling anything. <laughs> <laughs> So people are going to be binge watching this show like crazy this coming weekend. What have you been watching lately? Um, so I've been I've been watching some of my friends' show. Never have I ever. Um, Matre is, is a friend of mine, so I've definitely been watching Aww. that for her, and she's been doing an amazing job. She's absolutely killing it. Um, and I've also been watching the movies that made us. I just finished the Forrest Gump documentary. Absolutely yes. love those documentaries. I feel like I get a lot of insight on the film industry when I watch those. So those are my two shows right there. Yes, I love the Jurassic Park one. <laughs> so yeah, that's good. one I'm, I'm starting next. So I'm excited for that one. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your art. Thank you for your time, Jonathan. I really appreciate it. I can't wait for the fans to see this season. You're so good in it. Thank you. I'm, I'm excited too. Right? I had so much fun doing it.